Uh, this is Chancellor, Mr. Professor Sabu Thomas, Professor Michael Tarakan, uh, uh, Professor Seidi Danso, sorry, TM, Seidi DM Social Science Director, uh, uh, my friend Sanal Mohan, Professor uh, Arabi Mars, Professor Vice Chancellor of the University. Uh, dear appointees uh, at the, of the university, professor, and of course, the students. Thanks for the invitation. It's an honor for me to be here at the Mahatma Gandhi University. My presentation in this opportunity will be around the new multiculturalism in Latin American societies ongoing transformations. This presentation is a summary, is a summary of a book that I am finished with Professor Manuel Castells and will be published in, in Polity at the Cambridge in England at the end of this year. We have already starting out with the Spanish publication in Mexico, uh, with the of to the economic. But really, this work was based in a case study in 11, 11 countries in Latin America, from Mexico to Chile and Brazil. A, a, a group of researchers from the different countries worked with us, with Manuel and with me, to elaborate the principal social and economical and cultural change and political change in Latin America the last 20 years. So my presentation in this opportunity will be a summary of the principal trends that we find that we find in the Latin American transformation. But first let me say something personal. Uh, uh, Two things. One would think that, I don't know, eight, ten years ago, we have a conference in Cochabamba, Bolivia, of the Latin American Center. I want one of the two principal uh, speakers, the other was Bonaventura de Sousa. And the table was presented <coughs> by, by the Presidente Evo Morales in Bolivia. So, Bonaventura de Sousa, a good friend, speak about his way of seeing the process transformation in Latin America and in Bolivia. And always remark the importance of Cuba Venezuela. And when I speak, I say Presidente Morales, in the past he was my friend, of course now the president. But I say, of course it's important to understand what happened in Venezuela and in Cuba. But perhaps we must study Kerala model of development can be important for Bolivia. What's very nice, later President Morales said, you must speak me something about the other. I say, of course, President, and I will ask you, please, to give me another book. I will send one of them to President Morales. Yeah, thank you very much. If not, I send it. <laughs> OK. Uh, This is the principle of, of going transformation that we can find in our book in the last 20 years of the Latin American society in the different countries. Of course, we can arrive to build these general trends only because we study the national case. If not, it is impossible. It's a generality. So it's very uh, empirical way of building this uh, transformation. First of, of, of one, who is the hegemony of, of individualism and consumption. Second, the, the, the culture of techno sociability. Third, the diversity and strength of identity. Later, family, patriarchalism, and women, social movements, diaspora culture, new religiousness, ecological, communitarianism, and some small conclusions. Uh, I will 
introduce the general trends and put some empirical examples and some particular remarks in each of these seven categories that I will be finished with a conclusion. First of all, hegemony, a principal trend that we find that is hegemony of individualization and consumption. The role and the new media as the main actor of the cultural transformation. That is the principal uh, for example, internet penetration in the Latin America and the Caribbean increasing by 142% between 2006 and 2014. But, I'm sorry, the, the other information is in Spanish, but territorial inequalities are strong. So we have two trends. Everybody is included in the, in, in, in the media, but the inclusion is differentiated by countries and for social stratification, principally between the countryside and the cities. So it's an unequal, unequal uh, uh, inclusion. And that is each situation by countries from Guatemala to Uruguay. On average, a Latin American visitor, visitor spends approximately 22 hours online every month. Is more or less in the, in the middle of the, of, the, of the global level. You can see the, 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 the case of the United States. Uh, Later, the, the, the other cases, the, the, and finally, the, the, in the middle of, of the Latin America. And the other side, there are the other ways of differentiation between the, the, the online average use. Latin America was one of the most intensive usage of social networks in the world. As you can see in, in, in the picture, and I cannot do it, but if you can see in, in, in the picture that the, the, the inclusion of Latin America is very high. Uh, it's one of the most intensive usage of social networks at global level. An example, if you saw the Vatican in 2005, and then you come to 2013, that is a change of the reality. Everybody connects with cell phone. If I come here, it's the same thing, especially my friend, Sana. Uh, OK. Which are the some of our conclusions? Production of culture. The consumption of cultural information and goods produce personal transformation in everyday life. I repeat, the consumption of cultural information and goods produce personal transformation in everyday life. Differentiated impact between large city and the rural world, social and functional differentiation is redefined and increased. Third, with linkage with global culture, and that is very important, we are included in the global culture of informalization system. But we decide little about the sense of the globalization that are decided by the principal global power, principally the media system of power. And for informational communication and social action networks, the network society overlap, in our case, with industrial and semi-modern society. And that, as you underlined in your presentation, is a key issue for us. Because at times, we are in the past, in the present, in the future. And perhaps, more than in social science, the literature in Latin America is very important for understanding this overlapping situation, and we call magic realism. And I think perhaps this is similar to a cultural experience too. So or, or the informational don't come from the power to the to, 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 to the reality. The reality is a very, very complex reality 
the, the before the, the, the informational period. And we have this colonial time, republican time, revolutionary time, and so on, so on, of transformation. We have heterogeneous cultural and heterogeneous society. So we reintroduce in the information of capitalism by our own cultural transformation. For the society, which are the consequences? And that is an important discussion. Individualization is in the center of the cultural scene, particularly in the big cities. Rupture of the monopoly of power in the families and the schools. If I am a child, I can deal with a computer or with my cellular better than with my father, or even better than my group, like probably you in both. Uncertain relationship with labor markets. New labor of grammar. New relation of powers in the network. Change in sexuality. Tension between the individual and the collective. Search for a self-determination, the subject issue, using like this. And in the other conference, we develop uh, history. Second, the culture of techno sociability emerging youth autonomy. The principal information is very simple, like here and everywhere. Young people are one of the most used digital technologies in Latin America. From 16 to 20 years, you can see, and in other age categories too. So the, the, the young people, not only, but the young people, are the principal actors in the digital technology. One thing was very important, change in the perception of problems in everyday life. Most important problems according to the young people from 16 to 29 years, I don't know how will be the trend, how it is the trend things uh, here, but the most important in 2000 was education and employment. In 2013 is criminality and unemployment. And the last survey showed that the tendency today is similar to this last one. So criminality insecurity and unemployment is one of the most important problems perceived from the young people. But on the other hand, we have the emergence of a new type of culture, principally between the young people, that we call the culture of techno sociability, use of ICT tools, not just as aid, but as areas that enable new ways of being. Second, acceleration of time and rethinking of space. You have higher levels of connection that are in all social strata. If I have the upper class, the young are more included than these parents. If I go to lower class, the same thing. Acceleration of time and reason of space. Uh, I, I say the, the, the adults have, have, the young people have high levels. Demands against insecurity to restrain uh, public toxicities. They insecurity organize public relationship between the young people. Young people principally in the big cities. Second, young people seek to produce a strategy to decrease risk without reducing their freedom and autonomy. We find a new participatory logic in the practical or everyday life of the young people. How the young people tend to be skeptical or passive, and the other half participate or express their desire for participation. We have this dual logic. The help, the help of the young people take this vis-a-vis -vis social and political participation, and the other half are for a better political participation. 
And on the train is a new vision of social conflict. The network has become a place where new forms of conflict and power are expressed and developed. And for example, we make in modern moment a study of social conflicts in Latin America. Around 80% of the manager of the social conflicts in the different uh, uh, social conflicts in 70 countries of the region are dealt by young people, even in the traditional movements like working movements or in the new social movements. And so, in the social conflicts, for example, we make a, I make some interview to the young protesters in Chile in 2011. And when I discuss with them, at that moment they are in, 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 the, in the strike, uh, a mobilization in the streets against the government, uh, uh, and against the, multi, the, the, the principal uh, system, private of education that the Chilean has. So for mobilization, and where we go, how we go, how we can get, and at that time, in 15 minutes, almost 6,000 uh, young students coordinate by cell phones, the place, the way, and how we can uh, participate in the, in the, in the mobilization. Which are the consequences in society? First, change in mind. The imaginary and community map. Second, management of informational codes, and this is very important for us. Technical skills and ability to move creatively, autonomously in the network, to collect information and knowledge and produce new knowledge and practical application. Third, open identity. For example, in that process that we make in Rio de Janeiro, when we uh, discuss and make a survey with, with the young people in Rio de Janeiro, in the favelas, the people can deal with six, seven, eight identities. Not only one, one can be religious, other way can be football, <coughs> and other can be, and so on. So they are not only one identity. There are several identities, open identities. Practical political demands, the political of the young people uh, uh, are at times ethical, ecological, and local. The movement tends to be spontaneous, horizontal, and viral. But new forms, and that is six, of discrimination in the North Racism, sex, ideological absolutes are there. Finally, between the individualism and consumption and the autonomy of the social, between the individualization and consumption and the autonomy of the subject. In terms of cultural movements, the cultural diversity is trend the identity. We have in Latin America now new social cultural movement, the last 15 years or the last 20 years. One is connected with native peoples in Bolivia and Amandinos countries and even in Mexico, what we call originary peoples, the people who live ever there. The new cultural net and the movement of Afro descendants that we find new uh, social protests of resistance of the Afro descendants, principally in Brazil, but to in Colombia. What trends do we that we have here? Growth of ind indigenous self-identification in the 21st century in the case of the growth rate of the population that consider themselves indigenous in higher is higher than the rate of growth of the total population of the country. That is for democracy and progress <coughs> social mobilization. There are, that is a real reality, there are 45 million people in 80, 26 indigenous communities in Latin America. At the global level, there are uh, 300,000 million, 300 million. 
Afro descendants in Brazil are more than 50% of the country population, only for give an image of the situation. Let me only take a, 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 one important case, that is my case of my country in Bolivia, that we call intercultural peasants. It's a social mobilization who has a, a long historical time from colonial domination and indigenous uh, uh, uprisings. Intercultural presence, the result of the, the creation of the Milifundio in the Western in the Western region and policies during the revolution in 1952. And these uh, intercultural and peasants and play a key role to explain the process that actual Actually, explain of the process of social change and even the leadership of Evo Morales. You cannot understand Evo Morales if you don't understand this social movement. It is a hard task for getting multiple resistance and organizes into unions. It's a traditional <coughs> tradition in the origins associated with the minor traditions. The principal masters of the, of the political team of Evo Morales. And Evo Morales was formed by uh, uh, trade union leaders to come to, from the mines. Uh, uh, but in this characteristic, intercultural peasants are the principal actor of process of change. And they have created a model of development that I call neo developmentist or neo desarrollista uh, mode of, of, of production and created the, the, the plurinational state of Bolivia that connects the different cultures in only one state, the national state of the plurinational state of Bolivia. Other important movements, but I have not the time for here, they are in the book, they are a chapter about that. One is the Mayas and Zapatismo in Mexico. Another one is the Mapuche and Lumaco in Santiago de Chile. And the Afro descendants and Unedel from Brazil is this very important movement against the racial discrimination that the Brazilian has. Now, another very important problem towards the <coughs> Trends a new religionist in Latin America. There are a new religionists in Latin America, and it is very complicated topic. Uh, uh, but it's the beginning of, of, of taking account in our research. At global level, change in religion ascription according the continents between 2000 uh, and 2010. We have at global level, I don't know if you can see there, but we have this is the trend of the global level. Uh, the, we have in the global level the, the, the decrease of, of Catholic Church, the, the, the decrease of no religions, the Catholic Church and the no religion, and increase of the, of the, of the other Christian. Uh, increase of Muslim and increase of the uh, Indo religion. In the case of Latin America, this, uh, here, the thing more complicated is the decrease of the Catholic Church and the increase of the Protestant. And increase in some ways too, of the no religion. The, the, the animist become to increase here in Latin America. So, this is the panorama, a diversity of situations that change in, in, in global level and change in, uh, in, in, in Latin America. That is a key, a key issue because you, you, you will take some ideas, but it's important to understand what happened. Well, I will tell you only about the, 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 the Catholic religion. And we're beginning with this. Question: Can the charisma of the Pope solve the current challenge and crisis of the Catholic, or challenge the Catholic Church is facing? And we have 
three level of problems. An ethical multi-crisis, an institutional organic crisis, crisis, processes, and crisis of legitimacies. As you know, the Pope is a charismatic Pope. But when he goes in to Rome, he must confront these three big problems at global level. For example, the medical crisis, a uh, super-institutional crisis, deepening inequalities, social and mental health crisis. In the institutional and organic crisis for the Catholic Church, new Christianity, the ancient traditional church, and for all the other hand, crisis of legitimacy, new territoriality of beliefs in many countries. Even, even that, the Catholic is the most important religion around 75% 75 of the population in Latin America believe in the Catholic Church. But 20 years ago, it was uh, around 90, 94%. So the decrease the Catholic, increase the Protestant. That is the principal trend. Okay? And even if I can open from different cities, very important things happen. For example, in Uruguay, one of the cities with more uh, level of secularization decrease the religion and decrease, decrease the people who don't believe in God. So that is the transformation in Chile, for example, that is probably the worst situation for the Catholic Church. At the end of the dictatorship, the Catholic Church has in the public opinion, I don't remember well, around 90, 95% of support. But now they are around 10% of support. It's a crisis of the structure of the Catholic Church linked with uh, a process of education, a process of control sexuality of the power of the priest vis a vis the child in the school. And of course, the room plays the media. Which are the consequences? When Francisco arrived to the Vatican, recovered a little bit the presence of the church. In the faith dialogue, of course, global leadership of Pope Francis, achievement of a specific agreement for peace, for example, in Colombia, or even the new relationship between the United States and Cuba, Francisco role play an important role. The strength, ecological, strengthening ecological communication movements. And this is very important because he is a Jesuit. And he is, of course, like Argentino from, como, what's the name of the, the equipo? San Lorenzo. He is member of San Lorenzo football team. And that is very popular, popular sign. And he is the origin terrorism. So it's a special goal. Uh, the idea of Mede and the Jesuit, and the most important of them, he's Jesuit. The idea of the age of conflict based on an ethical logic founded on the peace and the idea of renewed Christian community. Main orientation to face the challenge of a secularization that is true and limit human coexistence and destroy nature. I'm going to repeat this because it's very important. The idea of mediation of God, that is the idea of, of the Pope, the idea of mediation of God, based on an ethical logic, founding of peace, and on the idea of renewal Christian community. Main orientation to face the challenge of a secularization that excludes and limits human existence and destroy nature. That is the offer of the Pope for the society. Which trade we find? This is very important. Now, I say it in, the, in, the, in my last exposition here in Canada, the, 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 the most important thing that we have at global level is this multidimensional global crisis in every way. Uh, uh, but the important thing is this crisis that we find in critical that the crisis leads to an increase of religiosity with change in the internal composition. 
So it kills the crisis, and the people began to be big religion, and of course, in a different way. Another thing, it seems that the crisis of legitimacy of the Catholic Church and the consequences of the subjectivity of the global multidimensional crisis created conditions for the emergence of this charismatic leadership capable of facing, or of facing the crisis. In this sense, the kindness of the current Pope is the result of the crisis in both sociocultural and institutional level. And finally, when the institutions are relatively weak and intercultural coexistence is insufficient, the demand for charismatic leader is greater. And it is not only for religion, it is principally really in the political arena. In the last 50 years, we have in more than 12 countries in Latin America, charismatic leader. It's a very strange phenomenon. We have from, from, from Lula to Evo Morales to Kirchner and so on in the, in the Latin America uh, from the beginning of Chavez, from the end of the last century to the middle of, uh, of uh, 2015. Another important trend is the migration and diaspora culture. That is only for take a, a picture of the international migration flow. As you can see there, we can say humanity can be defined by migration. <coughs> Everybody is connected with social migration. When we take Latin America, Latin America we go to North America and we go to Europe. Uh, 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 if you go take Africa, Africa goes, people of Africa goes there. Europe, if you take Asia, Asia goes to Europe and to America the North, and so on, and go and come back. It isn't only a way to go, it's a way to go and come back, and come back, and go. Uh, a friend that we have from Arpatuyam, from India, has an excellent work about the territorialization and deterritorialization of the modern society. Uh, uh, in the case of Latin America, or in the case of social uh, American migrants in Spain and in the United States, we have that panorama. Uh, how is the, the, the important orientation from some different countries in 2009, from 2000 to Spain, and 2011 to the United States. The principal people go to the United States and other important part of the people go to Spain. Of course, there are migrants between the different countries in South America, too. Latin American migration, common features. There are only three, there are more, but we find, I want to underline here three. Feminization of labor migration. That is a key issue. Feminization of labor migration. Workers in an irregular situation, workers in the informational economy. And they are one of the principal support of reproductions of the societies in the development countries. Never we must forget them, and principally the Europeans and the Americans. Diaspora cultures and migrant rights. They demand for dignified life associated with situation of discrimination and xenophobia. Importance of social and family networks. Impact of ICT on migrant culture. My wife Alicia studied the migrants of Bolivia to Argentina, Brazil, and the United States. Everybody is connected by ICT. And they connect the way the strategy of surviving between them. New transitorial states linked with place of origin exchange of information. Networking media organizations tend to reinforce identities and recognize themselves as a part of the global phenomenon. These with place of origin and revalorization of identities 
is this idea of Arpada in Iran or the territorialization of the Indians in the American culture. Never uh, less the Indian culture, but they are a new culture uh, in his Indian situation in the United States. The sixth step is changing family, patriarchy, and feminist movement. Very complicated and important problem. Only an example, women's income. In all social status, women income less than males. Around 20, 25 percent in the in the in the in the region. In the upper class, in the low class, the women is the, the women uh, uh, has lower income than the men. That is a fact. And we have, in these 20 years, change of family relations. And this is very important, very complicated problem I want us to study more. First of all, democratic, demographic transition, life expect expectancy grows and mortality and family size decrease. It's a key issue. Second, increase of the level for participation of women and the maintenance of reproductive work time. They work fast. The participation of the family groups in the gener generation of income increasing and diversifying. Man is not longer the true exclusive provider of income. Man is not longer the exclusive provider of income. And that is a key issue. The age of marriage and motherhood tends to, to be postponed. Less hierarchical family relationship root them of the monopoly of knowledge by parents. <coughs> Some consequences. More complex family, diversification of family form, desinstitutionalization of <coughs> new family ties, and differentiation of the sexual dimension of labor. More homes between children, single parents, and female heads of household. Household open, multi-dependent, and mutant, those man hours. Individualization of techno sociability generate new family configurations, households without children or fewer children without conjugal membership open and single parents, increasing inequality between high and low income families, new intergener intergener intergenerational agreements between the parents and the son. And we find very important feminist demands in Latin America. Fundamental background participation of women in human rights movement and the recovery of the democracy. That was a key, a key issue. From the women minors in Bolivia to the women for human rights in Argentina or in Guatemala. Movements of middle sectors that criticize androcentrism facilitate policy of progression of human rights. Normative progress, especially in some politics. Economic and social rights policies are still very limited. Demand for change in practice and subjectivity for change in everyday life. Search for individual empowerment of women and strengthen their own voices. Movement. And that is a key issue in, in all the countries, particularly in my country, a movement against feminism. That they are very, very important uh, uh, in Latin America. Only one example, which smells something. The, the Niuna Menos, we call that in Argentina, not one woman less, <laughs> against gender violence and the higher quality of life. You know, more women 
of Argentina origin with presence in Chile, Bolivia, Uruguay, Colombia, Mexico, Guatemala, Spain, France, among others. Guidelines. Eliminate gender violence. Promote more participation and recognition of women. Criticize the imaginary of violence in the media. Search for the greater political participation and rules that prevent all types of violence. That is a, a key uh, movement, and I think there are similar movements in India in, in, in Delhi. One important fact, perhaps the most important fact that I uh, conclude in one of my research in, 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 in the countries of the South, of the South America, that we call Mercosur, is the agency capacity of young women that transform goals into results. As you know, the principal capital of the social act is to transform the dreams, the objective, the orientation in, res in, res in, 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 in into results. And we, in, we, we, may, we make even uh, uh, some empirical uh, analysis. And we find this young, young movement Young women have better capab capability to lead citizenship demands of distribution, participation, and recognition that they may in all social class, in all the stratification of the younger population, from 13 to, to 20 to 20 to 26 and to 26 to 30 to 30, that was the category. In all these categories, is the, the, the capacity of agency of women is better than the young. Young women have better capacity to reach talk, citizenship uh, of the man, distribution, participation, and economy. Among the poorest, but it's differentiated, among the poorest, distribution demands are privileged. Among the most educated and more higher income demands of participation are privileged, privileged while the youngest privilege demand of recognition. Women have greater potential to obtain the human capital and care required to change situation. Seven of ten women have higher agency capacity, men out men five out of ten. That is a very important So we have for us and that is one of the principal pieces of the book that we make with Castells, we have an emerging social cultural movement. New historical subject of cultural change that seeks both a new sense of politics, of politics in terms of values and dignity and human rights in a redefinition of the historical field of the possible. They seek to end patriarchal, violent and sexist society. That is the orientation, not the reality. It's the orientation of this new social movement that we started out. Of course, the crisis and the power are more strong at the moment. And last one, as we take on some figures, is the ecological movements around against the informational extraction. That is one of the last conclusions in the new cultural change ecological movements against informational structures. The average person of a country with a very high human development index, index emits four times more carbon dioxide and twice as much of methane and nitrous oxide as country without low, medium, and high human development index, and about 30 times more than the mission of a person from a country with a low human development index. The reality is clear. But there are other point. It's a cultural point. If the underdeveloped countries take the similar level of life that we have in the United States or in Europe, the humanity will be destroyed nine times. 
So we cannot think that the, our future is to live for everybody like live the development countries. We must think in an ordered way of social production and reproduction basing on methods. That is it is from this perspective of ecological problems. And we have in the formation of extractivists, the new society that is starting out in Latin America the last uh, 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 20 years, uh, 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 the informational extractivists that implies a technoeconomic networks and communications in the OTS and apply for one hand extractive informational companies uh, like minerals, agricultural, oil, gas, and so on in every country in Latin America. We make a special research, for example, in, in Argentina for three years, and really the impact of these new informational companies in mineral agriculture and gas and oil in the territory of America in terms of pollution. And starting out new local territorialities and new uh, areas of social environmental crisis. Uh, we have not a statistic, but around 400 conflict is started the last year in Latin America for this the uh, information and extractivists from Mexico to Chile. That is a new uh, process of trans cultural transformation, I mean uh, a new way of cultural consumption, a new way of ecological life. So starting a new social movement there too, a new way of social products that we call ecological communities. Uh, 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 and uh, because they are integrated principally with the natives and communities, communities. It integrates diverse environmental and sociocultural demands, problematizes development models, consumerist, consumerist styles of reproduction and technology, and science that reinforce the environmental predatory extractivism. It inspires new forms of cultural life with natural and its basic. On ecological thinking, young people and indigenous people are the principal participants in this kind of demands in Latin America. So, and with this, I think I will finish the, the, the new multiculturalism is starting out. And this is our principal conclusion. Culture become at the center of the conflict of social change and democracy. It's a strong thesis. Second, dignity is a connection of the diverse social cultural conflicts. Cultural conflicts connect local, national, and global levels, and principally connect local with global. And that is a key issue. For example, when we study a movement of resistance of Mapuche in the south of Argentina, the Mapuches of the south of Argentina, uh, of Argentina are connected with the suk of the United States to fight against the principal oil companies who produce extractivists in the United States and in Argentina. The, the dark side Nevertheless, there are, I don't speak so much about that, that side of the multiple culturalism is the funden, fundamentalism. It's a key issue for, for us. And finally, politics is redefined through a communication policy that redefines the public space. For with all these uh, 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 transformations at cultural level in Latin America, uh, uh, we have a new public space, a new change, a new space for political and social change. Thank you very much for your attention.